you know, the Chinese labs, uh, they have more H100s than than uh, people think, you know, the and these my, are the highest powered NVIDIA chips that they were not supposed to have. Yes. The, my understanding is that is that DeepSeek has about 50,000 H100s, um, which they can't talk about, obviously, because it is against the export controls that the United States has put in place. And I think it is true that, you know, I think they have more chips than other people expect, but also on a go forward basis, they are going to be limited by the chip controls and the export controls that we have in place. Yes. You watch that CNBC interview with Alexandra Wang, the CEO of Scale AI. Right. Scale AI is doing incredibly well in the AI world. Wow. They were founded back in 2016 and specialize in providing high quality labeled data. Yeah. You know how important that is for training AI models, right? Absolutely. And they just hit a $14 billion valuation in May 2024. Wow. But today, uh, we're diving into a different corner of the AI world, okay. one that's buzzing with a, uh, a tantalizing mystery. Interesting. A company called DeepSeek. DeepSeek. That's interesting. Yeah. Most people think of them as a smaller player, almost a niche company. Right. They certainly haven't attracted the same kind of attention as scale AI. Exactly. And that's what makes this so intriguing. Okay. There are rumors, hmm. Hmm. whispers really, that DeepSeek has managed to acquire a staggering number of NVIDIA H100 GPUs. Oh, wow. We could be talking about 50,000 of these things. 50,000. That's yeah. more than many industry giants are believed to have. Right. The H100 is the gold standard for AI development right now. Uh -huh. But each one costs over $25,000 yeah. for a company like DeepSeek to have quietly amassed such a stockpile. I know. It would be extraordinary. It's almost unbelievable, right? Yeah. It's like discovering a tiny bookstore has a secret vault filled with first editions of every major novel. Haha. <laughs> I like that analogy. Given DeepSeek's size, it just doesn't seem possible. Right. So our deep dive today is all about trying to answer one question. Okay. How do they do it? Well, the first thing to consider is the U.S. government's restrictions on exporting these powerful chips. Right. Particularly to China. Yeah. They even introduced a less powerful version, the H800, uh -huh. specifically for the Chinese market. So if DeepSeek really does have 50,000 H100s, yeah. it raises serious questions about how they manage to navigate those export controls. Definitely. Are they playing by the rules or is something else going on? There are a few possibilities, mm -hmm. and none of them are particularly straightforward. Okay. One is that they've found a clever way to circumvent the export controls. I see. Perhaps by setting up subsidiaries or partnerships in countries where those restrictions don't apply. So a bit of corporate maneuvering. Exactly. Using the global nature of business to their advantage. Exactly. Yeah, so. Another possibility is that they're operating in the gray market mm. where goods are traded outside of official channels. Okay. This is a riskier proposition. Yeah. But it could explain how they acquired the chips without raising red flags. A bit of a cloak and dagger scenario then? Yeah, you could say that. Secret deals, backroom handshakes, that sort of thing. Right. Okay. Of course, there's another theory that's even more intriguing. Okay. Looks so. Some experts believe that DeepSeek might have developed revolutionary algorithms hmm. that allow them to achieve comparable performance with far fewer GPUs than anyone else. Wow. They're squeezing more computational power out of each chip. That would be a game changer for the entire AI industry. Absolutely. It would mean that companies wouldn't necessarily need massive server farms to compete at the highest level. Right. So it would kind of level the playing field. Precisely. You know? It would democratize access to AI technology, mm -hmm. allowing smaller players to compete with the giants. But for now, this is all just speculation. Right. We don't have concrete evidence to support any of these theories. That's true. The fact that a relatively unknown company like DeepSeek could even potentially possess such a vast number of H100s yeah. is what makes this so fascinating. I agree. It challenges our assumptions about who holds the reins of power in the world of AI. It does raise questions about the balance of power, absolutely. Yeah. And it speaks to the lengths companies are willing to go to gain a competitive edge in this rapidly evolving field. Let's dig deeper into the implications of DeepSeek's potential hardware advantage in the next part of our deep dive. Sounds good. For now, what stands out to you as the most surprising aspect of this story? What fascinates me the most is the sheer audacity of it. Mm -hmm. If DeepSeek has managed to acquire this many H100s, yeah. it represents a bold strategic move. Right. They were under the radar, but they, clearly they had a plan. A plan that very few people saw coming. It seems that way. And that's what makes this story so compelling. It really is. We have this relatively unknown company, DeepSeek, Right. Potentially sitting on a gold mine 
of AI processing power. Yeah. In the next part, let's explore what they might be doing with it. Okay. And what it could mean for the future of AI. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. So we've established that the potential scale of DeepSeek's GPU acquisition is surprising, yeah. given their reputation as a smaller player. Right. But what are they actually doing with all this hypothetical processing power? That's the million dollar question, is it? It really is. And this is where things get really interesting. Okay. DeepSeek's AI models, mm -hmm. particularly their language model R1, yeah. are generating a lot of buzz in the AI community. Interesting. Word on the street is that it's not just on par with models from the big players. Right. It's actually surpassing them in some key areas. Like what? Well, R1 is known for being incredibly efficient. Okay. There are reports suggesting it can achieve the same level of performance as some of the best Western AI systems mm. while using significantly less computing power. Really? Yeah. That's unheard of. It is. And it's not just about efficiency. Oh. R1 is also cheaper to run. I see. And some experts believe it's even more accurate than its better known counterparts. So it's like the best of both worlds. Potentially. This raises a fascinating question. Okay. If DeepSeek truly has a massive stockpile of H100s, yeah. as we've been speculating, uh -huh. then why are they focusing on efficiency? Good question. You'd think they'd be throwing all that processing power at the problem, right. going for the biggest, most complex models imaginable. It's almost like they're holding back on purpose. Maybe they are. If they're capable of building models that are more efficient, right. more accurate, yeah. and cheaper to run, wouldn't they want the world to know about it? Yeah. Perhaps. Or perhaps they have a different strategy in mind. Like what? Maybe they're intentionally holding back, I see. perfecting their technology before they make a major play for market share. Interesting. It's like a chess player sacrificing a pawn to gain a strategic advantage later in the game. That's an interesting analogy. And it would certainly fit with the whole air of mystery surrounding Deep Seek. They've been operating under the radar. Quietly building their capability. Exactly. If they suddenly unveiled a suite of AI tools that outperformed everything else on the market. It would be huge. Absolutely. It would be a major disruption. And it would completely change the dynamics of the AI race. For sure. I mean, we're so used to thinking of the big tech companies as the leaders in this field. Yeah. But what if a company like DeepSeek, mm -hmm. with its focus on efficiency and potentially game-changing hardware advantage, right. suddenly leapfrogs them all? It's almost too much to imagine. It really is. We've grown so accustomed to the status quo. But the tech world is full of surprises. That's true. Think about how quickly companies like Google and Facebook rose to dominance. Yeah. DeepSeek could be following a similar trajectory. It's possible. Albeit a much more clandestine one. It's definitely a story worth watching. For sure. And it raises some fundamental questions about the nature of innovation in the AI space. Like what? Is it all about brute force computing power? Mm. Or is there a different path, one that emphasizes efficiency and resourcefulness? Yeah. Deep Seek might be the company that gives us the answer. That's a really captivating thought. It is, isn't it? And it brings us back to our central question. Okay. How did they do it? Right. How did this seemingly small company manage to potentially acquire such a vast quantity of cutting edge hardware? Yeah. And what does it say about the future of AI development if they're right? Those are questions that we'll continue to explore. Definitely. But there's one final piece of this puzzle that we need to consider. Okay. The ethical implications of DeepSeek's potential rise. Mm -hmm. That's an important point. This isn't just a story about technology and innovation. No, it's not. It's also a story about power responsibility mm -hmm. and the potential consequences of unchecked ambition. Right. Let's delve into that in the final part of our deep dive. Okay. So we've been digging into this mystery surrounding DeepSeek, their potential hardware advantage, and the impressive performance of their AI model. Yeah. It's a fascinating story of innovation and ambition. Uh huh. But as you mentioned, there's another layer we need to consider. Right. The ethical dimension is crucial here. We can't just look at Deep Seek's potential rise through a purely technological lens. Yeah. We need to ask ourselves, what are the potential consequences of their actions? Mm. And what does it mean for the future of AI if a company with their level of secrecy and ambition becomes a dominant force in the industry? It is a bit unsettling, isn't it? It is. We've talked about how Deep Seek's approach could democratize AI. Right. Allowing smaller players to compete. Mm-hmm. But what if that democratization comes at a cost? 
That's a good question. What if it leads to a world where AI development is even more opaque, right. driven by companies that operate in the shadows? That's a real concern. Yeah. Transparency and accountability are fundamental to ensuring that AI is developed and used ethically. I agree. But deep seek secrecy makes it difficult to assess their motives or predict the long-term impact of their technology. It's like they're playing a high-stakes game with the future of AI, and we're not even sure what the rules are. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. And it raises questions about the role of governments and regulatory bodies in overseeing AI development. Mm. Can they effectively monitor and control a technology that's evolving so rapidly, right. especially when companies like DeepSeek are operating in the shadows? It's a daunting challenge. It is. And it's one that we need to address urgently. I agree. The DeepSeek story is a wake-up call. Yeah. It highlights the need for greater transparency, accountability, and ethical awareness in the AI industry. I completely agree. We need to foster a culture of responsible innovation uh -huh. where the pursuit of technological advancement is balanced with a deep consideration for the potential social, economic, and ethical implications. So where do we go from here? Yeah. What steps can we take to ensure that AI is developed and used for good, Ooh. even as companies like DeepSeek push the boundaries of what's possible? It's a multifaceted challenge. Yeah. We need to start by promoting open dialogue and collaboration between researchers, policymakers, and industry leaders. Okay. We need to develop clear ethical guidelines for AI development and use. Uh -huh. And we need to establish mechanisms for oversight and accountability. And perhaps most importantly, we need to engage the public in this conversation. A absolutely. And AI is not just a technology for the elite. Right. It's something that will impact all of our lives. Yeah. We need to make sure that everyone understands the potential benefits and risks of AI mm -hmm. and has a voice in shaping its future. Well said. The Deep Six story, as strange and unsettling as it might be, presents us with an opportunity. Okay. It's a chance to reflect on the kind of future we want to create with AI. Yeah. And it's a reminder that we all have a role to play in ensuring that this powerful technology is used for good. That's a great note to end on. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive. Uh, it's been a thought-provoking exploration of a truly fascinating and complex issue. It's been a pleasure. I hope our listeners will continue to explore the world of AI with a critical eye, asking tough questions and demanding transparency and accountability from those who are shaping this powerful technology. And until next time, keep learning, keep questioning, keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.